Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My name is Sada Soli Jibia, representing Jibia Kaita Federal Constituency. I'm from Kapuna State, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I'm coming on Order 8, Rule 4, on urgent matter of public importance, and also to request the House, uh, the House uh, for relief, um, to suspend its relevant rules in order to debate this matter. I so move, Mr. Speaker. Breach of national security under the peaceful protest across the country. The matter is what? To address? The need to address the possible breach of national security under the peaceful protest across the country. Under the peaceful protest. Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. Honorable colleagues, my name is Julius Babudo Pondi. I represent the very good pool of British Federal Constituency, Mr. Speaker. I'm an Isom man from Delta State. I rise to second the motion ably moved by my colleague, Ashe Shekong. The House notes the legitimate and constitutional right to peaceful protest of citizens presently going on across the country. Also notes the quick actions of the federal government by yielding to the demand to ban the special anti-robbery squad of the Nigeria Police Force, otherwise known as SARS. Further notes that the president has assured Nigerians that all policemen responsible for misconduct are brought to justice and that persons being held in SARS cells are promptly released. Acknowledge the, the plight of the victims of police misconduct and offer condolences to the relatives and friends of the numerous victims. Concerned that the legit, legitimate protests are being infiltrated by hoodlums, which may result in the breakdown of law and order. Also concerned that the continuous protests across the country have inflicted untold hardship on other Nigerians pursuing their legitimate livelihoods. Further concerned that the protests have impacted negatively on the nation's economy as economic activities have been inadvertently crippled by the protest. Disturbed that the protest may be taking a dangerous political dimension which could be inimical to the country's democratic process. Also disturbed that the protests are being hijacked by hoodlums and other unpatriotic Nigerians as there have been reports of break-ins at a medium security correctional center along Sapele Road in Benin and burning of police stations in, in, uh, all, in, uh, all in Edo State, as well as general violence by hoodlums, brandishing dangerous weapons, causing mayhem and grounding vehicular movement in major cities across the country. Worried for the public health and safety of the populace as the protests may escalate the spread of COVID-19 infection across the country. Also worried that due to the protests, people are finding it increasingly difficult to access health care and other services. Cognizant that if adequate measures are not taken to address the protest, the country may be thrown into a state of complete anarchy, resulting in needless loss of lives and properties and posing a threat to governance across the country. The House resorts to call on the President to issue an executive order to address some of the broader issues on police brutality. Second, appeal to protesters to have faith in the National Assembly and the, in the, and in the executive in our collective efforts towards finding a, solution, find, finding a lasting solution to the lingering issues of general police misconduct. Three, constitute an ad hoc committee to be chaired by the Deputy Speaker the membership of which should comprise the majority leader, the minority leader, and three members of each from the committees on defense, police, army, air force, navy, interior, national security and intelligence, and human rights to interface with the relevant security agencies, other relevant agencies, agencies and interest groups to ensure a peaceful end to the protest. I so move, Mr. Speaker. I want many silence for the for those who have been who have died as a result of police brutality.
May the souls of our fallen heroes who have died as a result of police brutality in the last few years uh, rest in perfect peace.